let me introduce you guys to Aitana. Chances are that you might have already heard about her, but if you haven't, Aitana does not exist. This is a 100% AI generated model on Instagram that makes upwards of $10,000 a month selling some educational content on OnlyFans. Not only this, AI generated models are also acquiring real life partnership deals with popular brands just like your usual influencers. In fact, experts predict that social media is going to be dominated by AI influencers in the upcoming years and thousands of people around the world are going to be making millions using AI models and the best part about all of this is that most people have absolutely no clue about it. Gone are the days when you had to be blessed with good looks and a personality in order to make it big on social media. Now all you need to do is think pretty and know how to create an AI influencer model. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build an AI influencer model from scratch and then you could use your own imagination to customize your character just like you would in a video game. By the end of this video, you're going to have your own personal AI influencer model that you can unleash upon the world and bank some serious cash from it. In fact, I'm even going to be creating an Instagram handle for my model right here with you guys and we're also going to be looking at how you can create different poses for your AI model so that you could maintain a regular upload schedule. So now without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first thing that you guys want to do is click the link in the description box down below and it's going to take you to this website right here. It's called GitHub. Now do not freak out if you're not a programmer because you don't need to be a programmer to follow any of the steps that I'm about to show you guys in this video. Basically, what you want to do is create an account on GitHub. Once you've created your account, scroll all the way down and click right here where it says open in Colab. Colab is basically a tool developed by Google that lets you write and execute Python codes straight through your web browser. But again, you do not have to write a single code as we already have codes right here. But first, we're going to click on this button right here and connect our GPU so that we could actually run the code. Once you've done this, just press this play button right here so that Colab will actually start running the code and install Focus, which is the name of the software used for generating AI images. Now this might take a little while depending on your internet connection. It took me about 15 minutes to actually finish the entire process. But basically, once everything's been set, you should be able to see that it says app started successful. Use the app with this or this. So what you're going to do is click on the link that ends with dot live. And there you have it guys, we're officially inside of the Focus software. It looks extremely basic, but trust me guys, it can do more than any paid AI generative image models that you might have come across. So now that we're here, I'm going to go through some of the features on the software briefly, and then later I'm going to use these features to show you how they work. So first, let's take a look at what happens when you hit advanced. I'm going to come back to the input image option later on, but first let's check this out. So right here on top, you've got three options, speed, quality, and extreme speed. So the options are pretty self-explanatory, but just briefly, speed would generate the image faster, quality would prioritize the image quality, and extreme speed would prioritize speed over everything else. So for our AI model, I'm gonna go for the highest quality. And then below that, you've got the aspect ratio of the image. There's plenty of options that you can go for, but the usual aspect ratio for an Instagram post is one by one, so we're gonna select that. And then you've got the number of images you want to generate for one particular prompt. You can generate up to 32 images per prompt, which is insane, but it's also going to take a lot longer the more images you select. So for now, we're just going to stick with two. And then you have a negative prompt, which you can use to mention anything in specific that you don't want in the image or something that you would not want the image to be. I don't really have anything in mind right now, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, if you go over to style, you need to make sure to search for this arch style right here. It's called hyper realism. This would give us the realistic look for our AI model. The other two options, we could just leave it as default. With that said, now let's take a look at what we want to do with our AI influencer. So I'm going to look for a popular real life OF model and try to replicate her with our AI influencer that has all the qualities as her, but with a different face and ethnicity. So upon doing a little research, I found Erika Calabrese. Turns out she's made $20 million in just one year selling content online. Erika has dwarfism, which seemingly has a massive market. Yeah. I heard you made crazy amount of money one time. Is that actually true? Is that the number? I think it was like a crazy millions. 20 million a year in a year. Wow. 
Is that accurate? Yeah. Like a no bullshit. No bullshit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna screenshot an image of her and ask ChatGPT to describe the image in a way that keeps her body type but describes Latin American facial features and darker complexion. I'm also gonna type in some additional descriptions that I can't show you guys. But the point is, be creative with your imagination here. I know you motherfuckers have some wild imagination. So once your prompt is ready, hit generate. It's gonna take about a minute to get the image ready. But once you have it, this is what it's gonna look like. There's absolutely no way you can tell that this image is fake. Even if you zoom in, the details are just stunning. So this is the AI model we're gonna be working with. Of course, if you guys are not satisfied with the results that you get, you can obviously regenerate as many times as you want, but I'm pretty satisfied with the results. So now, if you wanna keep the face and body type of your model, and if you guys wanna generate more images of her with different poses, all you have to do is go down and click on input image. On the first window, you're gonna use the AI model that we just generated and upload it right here, and then go over to advanced and select face swap. Now, what we're gonna do is use the screenshot that we had from before and upload that image to the second window right here. What this is gonna do is use the face and body of the model from the first image and try to recreate the pose from the second image. So let's see what we get right here, guys. So as you guys can see, it does a pretty good job. It can be a little messy sometimes. It will blur the eyes or get something wrong. But again, if you don't get it right the first time, you can generate as many images as you want until you get it right. So now that everything's ready, I'm gonna use these images for the Instagram handle of our model. So here's the Instagram handle that I created. I added a little bio and decided to give her a name. Make sure to follow her on Instagram, guys. I'm gonna be posting more images and even videos of her. And I'm also gonna be making a separate video showing you guys how you can create videos with your AI influencer model. With that being said, that was pretty much the video. Hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you do, please make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest AI trends. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.